Welcome to the second video in the series on using DHS data in R. The purpose of this video series is to give a basic introduction of how to use DHS data using R software. In the first video, we reviewed all the preparations necessary to use DHS data in R. In this video, we will learn how to create new variables in R. Before beginning, you must have downloaded R and R Studio to your computer, downloaded the model datasets IR file from dhsprogram.com, unzipped the IR file and saved it to your working directory, installed and loaded the R packages needed, opened the dataset in R. Please watch our R preparation video, video one of this series, for instructions on these preparatory steps. Once you have completed your preparation, then you are ready to work with the data. We will first show how to create a common DHS indicator, modern contraceptive use, by manipulating a variable in the dataset from several categories to a binary variable. The variable for contraceptive use is V313. To see the categories, we can use the print underscore labels command as shown. The dollar sign indicates that you are looking for variable V313 in the IR data. In fact, we can use this dollar sign to look at any variable in this dataset. The labels here show that the data is stored with numbers 0 to 3, but they have labels attached to them. To create a new binary variable for modern contraceptive use, we need to combine categories 0 through 2 to 0 and category 3 to 1. Let's see how this is done. The first line indicates we want to write over our existing IR data with the changes we are about to make. To do this, we use the assignment operator, which looks like an arrow. The percentage signs with the greater sign symbol in the middle is a pipe operator, which allows us to link multiple steps of code together. We use the mutate command, which is used for creating new variables. We will name our new variable mod FP, short for modern family planning. Within that command, we have a few options for creating new variables. The first option is to use the if else command. Using the if else command, we indicate that if v313 equals 3 to give the new variable a value of 1 and all other values in v313 should be given a value of 0. Then add labels to the categories and to the variable as shown using the commands set underscore value underscore labels and set underscore variable underscore labels. The second option is to use the case underscore when command instead of the if else command. Here we indicate that if v313 equals 3, then it should be given the value of 1 in the new variable, and if the value of v313 is less than 3, then the new variable will be given the value of 0. We again label the categories and the variables as we have done with the if else option. You can check your work using the table command for v313 and your new variable. You can see in the output the categories 0, 1, and 2 in v313 add up to category 0 in mod fp variable as shown in the sum here, and category 3 in v313 is now category 1 in mod fp. So this variable was coded correctly. A third option for creating new variables we will discuss is recoding numerical variables. Here we will create the sampling weight variable that is needed for the next video. The weight variable in our dataset is V005. To use the weight variable in DHS data, we need to divide it by 1 million. 
Here we are creating a new variable we call wt and divide the weight variable in the IR file, v005, by 1 million. Instead of using mutate to create this variable, we simply create a variable using the dollar sign and assign it the value of v001 divided by 1 million. We have reached the end of this video on creating new variables in R. In the next video, we will learn how to identify the survey design in R, which is needed for analysis of survey data such as the DHS data. To learn how to create variables for more DHS indicators in R, you can check the DHS program code library on GitHub at github.com forward slash DHS program forward slash DHS dash indicators dash R.